Hi guys, welcome back to another On Home video. And today we are doing one of my all time favorite movies, Jurassic Park. This was my favorite movie for like two straight years. I still absolutely love it. It's like my fourth or third favorite movie of all time. I absolutely love it. I know I've been cranking these out. Let me know, are you guys enjoying these? Because I'm really enjoying making them because I get to show off some of my uh, most awesome stuff and some newer stuff that I got. And I get to give you guys some facts on like some of these physical media releases. So we're gonna get right into this video. First thing I have here is the VHS of Jurassic Park. I believe this is, yes, this is the original VHS from 1993. This was the first way you could own Jurassic Park and I bet that this was a very popular VHS because if you did not know, uh, Jurassic Park was the biggest movie of all time when it came out. I think it was like the first ever movie to make over a billion dollars. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And um, it is still one of the highest grossing movies of all time now. It still ranks like top 50 highest grossing movies of all time now. It's pretty shocking, but pretty awesome. Jurassic Park, I just absolutely love this movie. Um, you've got some really cool artwork, which on a couple of these releases, you'll see like this image of the island news. And then um, MCA Home Entertainment, and then slipping this thing out. Jurassic Park, directed by the greatest filmmaker of all time, Steven Spielberg. And um, the guy who really inspired me to become like a job, or like he, he inspired me to like follow the filmmaking path. And I've always said, because of him, I want to have a, a job in filmmaking. And so, um, yeah, that's the VHS. Um, yeah. So this was a very cool first um, release to have in my Jurassic Park collection. Next up, we have a very heavy release and one that I'll never be able to fit fully in frame. Just an absolutely awesome release. Jurassic Park on Letterboxd Laserdisc. I got this one for $5 at that same place I got the Terminator 2 Laserdisc the same time and I like lost my mind when I pulled this one out because it is like a box. It contains a um, few laser discs which I will show you guys and um yeah if you turn this thing around you've got some awesome art talking about the movie. Um, laser disc was like the companion to VHS. They basically both existed and um, VHS lasted a little bit longer. This lasted to like the end of the 90s and um I think it's super cool that had this release. I think it was came out the exact same time as that um, VHS did. But first, I can kind of hold this up to show you guys. But I'll just take out the insert to show you guys because I think this insert's really cool because it's it says looking for these films directed by Steven Spielberg, and you can see a couple of these on Laserdisc. Jaws, I'm hunting down on Laserdisc, and um, some all-time classics on here. And then on the back, you have every single movie they ever released on Laserdisc up to this point. And that's really cool. And then you have the scene selection, which you have to flip the disc five times to watch one movie. That would be pretty grueling. And um, it comes with three discs. You, there are two, all of them are double-sided. So I'll take these out and show you guys. I won't take them out of their packaging, so I do not want to damage them. Um, you've got the first and second disc. These things are pretty cool, but they didn't last that long, it looks like, because of the... Or, like, they didn't have much footage on them. Um, three, four, uh, really cool. And then the final one, I think that this might have special features on it. I could be wrong. Um, ooh, it's slipping out. I'll have to hold this other way. Um, five, and then six. No, so there is no special features. I know. Some, uh, I know that Jurassic Park had its own, like, making of on Laserdisc which I'd never really heard of, that there was making ofs, like, on Laserdisc or VHS, but there were. But yeah, this was a really cool, um, release to find for especially $5, and I had to spend a bulk of the time talking about this, because this is probably the coolest one that I have, and, um, I'm glad that they just went with the awesome logo, Jurassic Park. I don't think I'll ever beat that for this movie. So, absolutely amazing to have this Laserdisc in the VHS. So those are like the two only old formats I have. All these are kind of newer releases. And I do have one DVD for this movie, which is the Jurassic Park. I believe this is from 2017. Um, I can't find the date on here. Oh, 2018. So um, right when I got into Jurassic Park, I bought this release. Um, you got some newer di uh, DVD art. I know there's like one from like 2000. And if I find that for cheap, I'll definitely add it to the collection. But now this will do. I actually have this disc out because I um, use it to watch 
Jurassic Park on like on road trips and stuff, so I have it out. So it's not actually in the case. I won't open the case to show you, but um, yeah, pretty cool. They came with the slipcover. Not many singular DVDs come with a slipcover, but um, so yeah, this is like um, just the most basic release I have of Jurassic Park, I would say. But the first release I ever had of Jurassic Park on DVD, and like the only release I had until like last December, or so um, pretty cool. And um, yeah, I have lots of memories watching Jurassic Park on this release. So these two are part of the same set, but they came in um, separate cases, and um, I kind of want to present them like this. So this is the Blu-ray of uh, Jurassic Park. This came out, I believe, right after um, Fallen Kingdom, which in its own right is underrated. I love every single Jurassic um, Park movie, maybe except Jurassic World. I think they're all great, including Dominion. But um, we're not here to talk about our opinions on the other movies. Jurassic Park here is the Blu-ray. Um, I thought it was interesting that they went with the black color. Um, so yeah, that's all the um, that's the reason why I broke out this release to show you guys the Blu-ray. And then right after that, in the same set, we have the 4K. This was the reason I bought the set for the 4K. And weirdly, they come in separate cases, but they come in one one big box. So kind of weird that they um own two different cases, but it makes it easier for stuff like this. So um. You got all five films, which was super helpful for me because I love all five films. And you got some awesome disc art on here. Um, I don't know. I, f I swear a lot of people said that this 4K wasn't great, but um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people said it was pretty good. I know that you can get Dr the first Jurassic Park on 3D, which um, I don't know if you need a 3D TV for that. If you don't, then I'll look into getting that release. But if you do, then I don't have a 3D TV. But um, this is the best release of Jurassic Park. I think I watched it on 4K like once. I thought it looked pretty great. And um, Jurassic Park is just such an important movie for me as like a film lover because it was like the first big step from like the Goonies Back to the Future to like more intense stuff. And I was really scared of the dinosaurs, but man, did I love it. So Jurassic Park is such a important movie for me. And I'm so glad that I got to show you guys my release of it on home video. Let me know, are you guys enjoying this kind of mini series I've been doing? I did uh, Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park, or Terminator 2 and Jaws. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this cool movie rating video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.